How's it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to Hardcore RL Craft. And in the last episode, we explored the uh, extremely rare um, College of Evil building, which was really cool. Amazing building, including uh, an invisible maze area and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm still searching for the Ring of the Fairies. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're just heading back to a village now to uh, use their way shrine and then we're going to head up to an area where I've marked a lot of the doom like dungeons on the map so let's land Garagarag down here try not to flatten the village and uh, we'll pop him back into his horn for now uh, so I have got a way shrine up in an area uh, I call the northern frontier of the explored area of the map and uh, this is closest to where I've marked a bunch of these doom like dungeons on the map here up around the northeast corner um, there's a few of these giant battle towers I might check as well because some of you guys mentioned in comments they might be a good area to check for the ring of the fairies too I haven't uh, I haven't found one of these in uh, more than a thousand days of playing so <laughs> they are very very rare but we'll see how we go and we're going to work our way through all of these until, uh, hopefully, until we find the Ring of the Fairies. So, let's get back on Garagarag here. And uh, we're going to head to the closest, uh, the closest Doom-like dungeon that I've marked on the map. And uh, see how we go. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we get over there to the first one. Okay, so our first Doom-like dungeon should be over here. And uh, this is what they usually look like from the outside. They're either like this big boxy looking thing um, or they can also have several entrances to them um, around the area um, which can include things like a really long ladder or a stair as like a spiral staircase that leads down inside the, um, the dungeon. I can't see any other entrances around here but there is almost certainly like uh, one or two other entrances to the same dungeon in this area but uh, we're gonna check this one out and see what kind of loot it has to offer I'm not really expecting to um, to find the ring of the fairies on the first try here because <laughs> they are very very rare but uh, we'll see how we go you never know I guess who's shooting at me over here go away spider so in terms of difficulty, we are at, uh, at level 14 in, th in this area as well. Um, so it's, it's going to be pretty dicey depending on the type of spawners that we have down there. And uh, you can get pretty much any type of spawner. Um, pretty much um, of any type of mob. So uh, we're going to have to be uh, super careful in how we approach things here. But uh, we'll see how we go. Um, let's... Take a look in here. Okay, so this has got a staircase leading down. Let's let's just start uh, check this one out. And usually there's no like um, special treasure room or anything like that in these places. The um, the best loot, like the special loot chests, are the ones that have spawners directly underneath them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I could have taken a shortcut. I wonder if that leads down into the same dungeon over there. That big chunk of uh, kind of a obsidian tower over there. Uh, let's keep going down this way though. See what we can find. I probably want to get rid of all the spawners first and then go through and loot everything because the longer you wait, the more the more creatures spawn in gets pretty hectic so I like to rush through just destroying all the spawners first in these places not that I've usually done too many of these because um, I didn't really need anything specifically from these places but I guess this time okay that's a dead end it's like we've got sandstone down here they can be made of just about any type of block as well um, let's see what, okay that's it that's a dead end as well Maybe there's only one uh, one way to go out of this uh, this area here. Let's take a look. Okay, we got a zombie spawner up there. Just uh, try and get rid of these spawners. 
We'll come back and check all these, um, these crates later. But for now, I just want to get rid of the spawners as soon as possible. These, um, these Doom-like dungeons can be extremely large as well. Um, and very hard to navigate. So we'll see how we go. So far, so good. Okay, that's just a regular cave right there. Let's keep going around this way. Uh, probably gonna get rid of the creeper spawners. Is there a creeper spawner back here? Yeah, there's a spawner over here. Die, Groot! I think it's uh, maybe that one up there. <gasps> oh, shoot! Thought there was a creeper right behind me then. Okay, there's some, some creepers over here though. Wow, what is this area? This is pretty fancy looking for a Doom like dungeon. I've not I've never seen Get out of it. I've never seen a room like this before in one of these uh, Doom like dungeons. Usually they're um Usually they're just pretty plain and boxy and have a bunch of spawners in them. Let's just try and find Try and find all of the uh, the spawners in these places. Okay, this looks like a spawner in here. Get rid of that. Maybe there's going to be some good loot in this room. See how we? Oh, shoot! That was uh, that was an invisible that was an invisible creeper right there. Um, yeah, that was that was a bit on the scary side right there. Looks like there's a bunch of creeper spawners in this area. I think these these cages here have spawners in them as well. Oh, thought I heard a. Oh shoot! What the hell? Okay, let's just break that. And I'm not a fan of these things. <laughs> Yeah, that's a sign to look out for the creepers, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing there was some sort of a TNT trap in here. So, there goes the loot. <laughs> there goes the loot. Uh, let's just get rid of this spawner here. Hope it didn't blow up uh, a ring of the fairies or anything like that. That would be uh, most unfortunate. Okay, what? Get out of it, zombie. He's, he's got the one-up, has he? He's got the one-up skill. Okay. I'll <laughs> kill you twice. Um, alright. I think we've still got this and this over here to loot, though, right? So, um, oh, there's a spawner up there. I didn't even see that one. These ones are just that annoying height. That's a spider spawner, anyway. It's probably, probably no big deal if I can... There we go. Okay, now, I'm guessing that there was probably... Oh, crap. There was probably, um, there's probably dynamite underneath these, because, um, that explosion was way too big to be just from a creeper. Um, so I'm gonna check underneath this, uh, this chest right here, just to be on the safe side, because, yeah, I can see pressure plates right there. Yeah. I would say that this is trapped. Booby trapped chest situation. Let's get rid of all this TNT here. I think we got all of it. Oh, there's some more up there. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we're safe. Hopefully we're safe now. Let's see what's in this chest. I'm hoping that it's, uh, something good. Wow. A lot of cookies. <laughs> a block of diamond. That's not too bad. Um, let's just chuck some of this other stuff that I don't need. I might keep the TNT. Chuck the rest of this stuff in there. I'll keep... Uh, oh no, I'll chuck that out. Okay, now, this is probably going to be the same deal over here. So, uh, let's get rid of the TNT in this one as well. I hate these ramen things, dudes. I know I've said it. I say it just about every video, but... Um, they are so annoying. Hoover up all the TNT. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, knockback, fire aspect punch, bit of meat there, some more cookies. Let's just chuck this out. Um, put that in there. Uh, was that? Oh, I'll take the diamond pet armor, actually. That's always useful, and I don't think there's anything else that we really need. So, yeah, okay, interesting. I've never seen a room like this before in a Doom-like dungeon. This looks like, um... Like a special, like, troll type room with creepers, spawners, and like... <laughs> that's probably meant to blow people up. <laughs> one way or another. But we survived, so, uh... That's... That's, uh... That's something. Um, let's just, uh... Replenish the thirst side of things. And I might eat as well. Man, so many spiders. Did I miss a spawner? I don't think I did. Let's get, let's get our other flask out. Okay, let's uh, let's keep moving to see what else we can find in this place. Uh, what do we got through here? Okay, let's get rid of this. Looks like we got some uh, witch spawners, maybe. I can definitely tell that these um, these mobs have a lot more health than normal because they're much harder to kill than I would expect. Remember how I used to be able to one-shot tier 3 dragons? Um, well... I can't even one-shot a zombie these days. So, well, sometimes I can. I want to check all the armor that I, that they drop as well, because I'm trying to find some, um, some warming enchants. Let's just kill that. Um, alright. I think that was a dead end back there. Break that. I hate Gorgomites as well. Um, what do we got through here? Go away, bat! I know it's probably... Uh-oh. Oh, crap! That... Right there, that means that there's, uh... That, that right there means that, that we've got, uh, some Gorgons. Um, how do I want to play this? I could wear my blindfold, but, um, the problem is, I didn't bring any torches, and there's not even any torches I can steal around here, so <laughs> it would be pitch black. I don't know, it might be safer to, to actually keep my vision and just try and be careful. <gasps> oh, shivers! Did you see that? I nearly looked at two, go two Gorgons, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, okay, we got, we got to go in here like this. Alright, uh, 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 kill you, kill you, okay. Oh, I see this chest right here. This, this is the, uh, this is the big one. There's, sometimes there's two or three of these, but, um, we got, just got to kill the Gorgons first. It looks like they've even been turning each other into stone. Oh, come back here. I'm just chasing the tail. Just chasing it. Oh, maybe this is the, where's the spawner? Okay, we gotta kill her. Oh shoot! Let's get rid of this. I don't even know where the spawner is. I don't think I've destroyed it yet. Let's let's go have a look over here. Man, this dun this dungeon is actually pretty pretty intense. Gotta kill those creepers. I didn't get a chance to look at that chest either. That was, that was the big chest, which has the possibility of having the, um... Uh-oh. The possibility of having the, um... Ring of the Fairies in it. Let's just go break these. Break that. I don't know, I don't know where the, um, Gorgon spawner is. It might even be up in the... What the hell is that? There's a... There's a giant sandworm down here as well. Um, alright, what's this over here? Get rid of that. I'm very worried right now about Gorgons that might still be alive over here. If we can find our way back to that chest. This is a different area here. Let's get rid of these. 
Um, I might be lost right now. I, I just, I've just got to be careful not to, um, not to keep my head up too much because if, if there's a, okay, this is the area here, I think. If there's a Gorgon around, it could, uh, instantly kill me. Um, okay, let's destroy this. Oh, this is another, this is another, um, special chest right here, I think. Although it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it had too much, uh, that was fantastic in it. Get rid of that. Um, we should be able to find the area where we were at because there was, oh, over here, yeah. Is that it up there? I think that's an Enderman. Oh, shoot! Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. They're still spawning, obviously. Okay, take that Gorgon head. Um, that's a zombie. Okay, where where's the spawner? Where's the Gorgon spawner? Maybe it, maybe it just ran out of uh, charges. Uh. I can't see anything up in the ceiling. This is a... This Gorgon here got turned to stone by another Gorgon. That's some Gorgon on Gorgon violence right there. Um... Alright. Hopefully... Unless it's in one of the nearby rooms... What is webbing me right now? Probably this. Oh no, it's probably... It's probably this right here. Let's try and break this. Get out of it! What is... Zombie... Stop webbing me! God damn it! <laughs> this this creeper, even though it's turned to stone, is still still webbing me. Um, if we get out this, I think we can break it. There we go. I think I broke it. Oh, uh, actually, I don't think I want to keep that one because uh, that that would be annoying. Um, what's this over here? Darkling. Interesting. Everything's getting turned to stone in this, this dungeon. Can you go away, please? I don't know if I killed it or not, but anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's see what was in this. This was the big chest right here. So we've got piercing capabilities. Um, diamonds, golden apples, some more golden apples, nothing, oh, there's a few, uh, few emeralds, I guess I'll take those. Uh, what else have we got here? Emerald amulet, less of bane of arthropods. Interesting, okay, well, I'm gonna keep, uh, exploring through this dungeon. I think we got rid of the, uh, I think we got rid of the, um, Gorgon spawner. I don't know which one it was. It might even have just, like, spawned the max amount and then, and then disappeared as they do. Because I can't see any more spawners in this area. So, yeah, we'll keep going through and, uh, see what we can find. Um, yeah. And, uh, hopefully we can find a ring of the fairies. If not, we're going to have to keep, uh, keep going. Oh my god. Wow. Dudes. <laughs> I've just found a tier 5. I could be tier 4, but I've just found an underground dragon lair directly underneath this doom-like dungeon. we got to go down there. I wonder how much health this dragon has though, right? Because we are at, we are at difficulty level... 14 right now. I think I'm, I'm gonna need to take uh, a golden apple just to be on the safe side here. Um, yeah, I'm very interested to see what kind of health this thing has. Let's just sneak our way down. It's asleep right now, but... I can't see its health. I can see the skeleton's health, but... I uh, can't see the dragon's health right now. This is gonna be interesting. 
Oh, there. I saw it for a second there, I think. Oh, no, that's the creeper. Let's just kill this creeper real quick. Where's the dragons? Oh, I did see the dragon's health there. 1500! Oh my goodness. I don't think it's tier 5, it's probably tier 4. We'll see, we'll see. It could take a while to kill this thing. Might, be, might even be worth using the uh, crystal hammer on this dragon. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay, we're probably going to get some... Uh, some fire mobs spawning in here. Let's just see what tier this was. We can find its um we can find its skull. Wait, where did these bottles of enchanting come from? It's very weird. I mean I'll take them, for sure, but uh I guess there's a chance. Where's the where's the actual skull though? I don't think I got the skull. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, it's stage four, okay. Oh, we got a dragon egg as well. Bronze one. That's crazy. So it was a female. Interesting. That's pretty awesome, guys. So this is directly underneath that same um that same doom-like dungeon. Um let's try and get back up here if we can. There we go. <laughs> I'm pretty much finished with this dungeon anyway, so I'm just going to find my way out of here. I guess there's a couple of spawners left still. Just get rid of this one. Damn it! The, uh, the hammer doesn't kill the creepers quite quite as quickly as my um, greatsword does, unfortunately. But, um, oh, this is warming. I'll take that. So, yeah, I'm going to find my way out of here. Let's just check over in this direction. Looks like I haven't been over here yet. Um, I'm, I'm not expecting a lot of good loot. I've found like maybe three um, of the special high tier loot chests. And um, they had a couple of baubles in them and stuff like that. Baubles that I already had, but no, no ring of the fairies. So yeah, looks like I've been in this area already. So yeah, let's, um, let's make our way back to... Um, back to the surface if I can find the staircase um, and then we'll go to one of the other um, one of the other doom like dungeons on the map so I've been collecting loot as I go and so far I've got a couple of these warming enchants um, as well in this dungeon so that's pretty awesome if I can get enough of those I'll be able to enchant this set of armor and maybe some more um, got some bones and stuff like that but not a lot of super useful loot to be honest um, but, uh, yeah, we'll go back up to the surface, and then we'll probably head on to one of the other Doom-like dungeons that I've marked on the map here, and, uh, just keep going, and hopefully we can find ourselves a ring of the fairies. So, yeah. Uh, let's go back up to the surface. I'll call in Garagarag, and then we'll fly to the next one. Well, I've gone through almost all of the Doom-like dungeons that I had marked, um, on my map to explore and so far no luck finding the um the ring of the fairies but we've got another one here um that i'll check out and then we're probably gonna have to resort to just roaming around looking for them because i'm nearly out of uh the ones that i've marked on the map um let's see how we go through here this is one of the more boring looking ones by uh by the looks of it just plain stone walls and stuff like that but a lot of zombies. So yeah, I've been trying to do this quick way. There's not really a super quick way to do these, but I find if I rush through and destroy all of the spawners first, and then come back and loot, that's probably the better way to do it. Um, they're a lot bigger than you think. Like there's a lot of like corridors that lead off to whole new wings of the dungeons most of the time. I find they take around 20 to 45 minutes to do for each of these so it's been quite a long grind guys I'm probably gonna edit out most of it um, 
But, uh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to find one of these Winner the Fairies. We've had no luck so far, and to be honest, it's only really the, uh, the chests that have the spawners underneath them that have the decent loot in them. And, uh, there's been a few baubles and stuff, but nothing real special. At least it's been a good way to get bones and stuff like that. Um... And, uh, they're gonna come in handy for the dragon mills that we'll be needing for, uh, for later on when we do some more dragon breeding. Wow, okay. So, yeah, these Zoator spawners, they are fairly, uh, they are a fair, fairly common occurrence, actually, in, in a lot of these dungeons. They're kind of annoying, though, because these things are really hard to kill out here, uh, where the, there's a high difficulty level. <laughs> Uh, those, those Zoators, um, were a lot easier to kill back before they changed, um, changed them to being dragons. We got witches over here. Okay, there's a spawner up in the roof here. Get out of it! Witches are more of an annoyance than anything. They're not really a danger most of the time. Unless I come across a blighted one or something like that. These... These ceiling spawners that are just out of reach are... Kind of annoying. Uh, okay, we get rid of that Enderman spawner. Destroy this. These, um, these spiky dudes... Um... They used to be aggressive, but they um, changed them to being passive mobs, so <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of weird when you encounter spawners with those because it's like having cows or a, a cow spawner or something like that. It's like... <laughs> uh, Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, I find the, um, the Lycanite's hammer is actually really good. For, uh, the knockback ability. Because, um, sometimes it's, uh, it's better to just, like, knock back some of the more dangerous mobs. Um, then just slice away at them until they die. Now that I'm on the, uh, the, the hardcore configs. Because things take a lot longer to die than back when I could one-hit everything. Okay, this looks like we've got a special chest right here. Let's check this one out. This is going to be the uh, the boss chest, so to speak. Um, okay, we got an amulet in there. Some golden apples. So that's sometimes pretty typical of the kind of loot. Um, but they're the chests that are likely to have the, uh, the Ring of the Fairies in them, I believe. And uh, some dungeons, you might only find one of those, but... Uh, Usually there'll be maybe three, maybe four of those if you hunt around the dungeon enough. Um, so we'll see how we go. We'll keep looking through here. See what else we can find. Um, Alright, let's just uh, let's just get our, our hunger and thirst back up. Fortunately, these dungeons have a lot of food items, so you don't even really need to bring any because they they have a bunch of food items Food items in them Looks like we've got some more witches over here Take you out Looks like we actually have um, a regular vanilla mine shaft that sort of Spawned right inside of this, um, Doom-like dungeon, but, um, <laughs> at least there's no tier, tier 4, tier 5 dragon den like that other one earlier. Um, let's see what we've got through here, sounds like there's some grooves hanging out somewhere. Let's see if we can find our way through where, to wherever that is. A lot of the time you'll think that the dungeon's like, um, it's a dead end, but there'll actually be a little corridor that leads to a brand new wing of the dungeon. Slowly starting to work out the, um, 
the layout of these things, or the typical layout. Some of them are quite a bit different, though. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay, we've got another Zoatar spawner. Try and break that. These aren't really dangerous so much as they just take a long time to actually kill the uh, the hardcore configs. Break that as well. What do we got here? Nothing much. I've been collecting quite a lot of golden apples. Um, so you might... Okay, that's just a cave right there. But remember in the last episode, I tested out the apple juice and the golden apple juice to see if it was any good. I've been thinking about that and probably the golden apple juice could actually be useful in that it's much quicker to take one of those than um, take three drinks out of a canteen to get the same, same amount of thirst um, filled back up. So like in a boss situation maybe, like where I'm fighting one of the big bosses later on kill this guy. Um, it might be a good idea to have the golden apple juice instead of the water canteens because you do get, tend to get thirsty in those kind of long fights. So maybe they're not quite so useless after all and I can make quite a few of them with the amount of golden apples that I've collected now. Um, let's see what's in here. I haven't found any really useful enchants either by the way so if you're thinking about running these Doom-like dungeons to try and find stuff like Supreme Sharpness, it's... I, I haven't found a single one of those top-tier enchantments in here so far. I have been collecting the warming um, enchants, though, on um, armor that drops, because that is going to be useful to add to my armor sets. And it's not one that you often find in book form, but you do find it quite a lot on the... Uh, you know, the zombie and skeleton armor that they drop sometimes. So what we got through here. Oh, got to get rid of those creepers as quickly as possible. Uh, okay, there's another example right there of a warming... A warming enchant. These guys are annoying as well. Get rid of this. Generally, the ice and fire mobs are uh, kind of hard, harder to kill. <laughs> oh man! Okay, this is a real maze. This one. I think the um, the plain stone walls make it kind of harder to uh, <clears throat> figure out what's a what's a legit part of the uh, dungeon and what's just a regular cave. That We've got a creep creeper spawner. Boy, they dropped a, they dropped a cookie for me. <laughs> oh, we got a cavern down there. Oh, let's try and uh, try not fall down there. Creeper. I usually just sort the... Oh, we got an XP book. That's always handy. I always sort the items in the chest as I come to them. Just so I know that I've been there. Let's break this one. Fire protection. I don't really use the thorns type of uh, enchants because they do uh, use durability on your armor and uh, I'm always worried about the armor getting destroyed if, if uh, it gets used too much so plus I don't think it's really useful or necessary to these guys I'm at the point now where I don't really need to collect a lot more bones. I've already got a full shulker box full of bones. Which will hopefully give us enough for what we need. For the next little little session of dragon breeding. Uh, let's see what's in here. 
was through here. Try and find an area I haven't explored already. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's a dead end. Get out of it, zombie! A few infernals here and there. It's the blighted, it's the blighted enemies I have to watch out for though. They're the ones that can potentially kill me pretty quickly. The tactic that I've been using with the blighted, uh, the blighted mobs is basically my bow. Try and knock them back and stun lock them kind of thing before they can get to me. Because if, um, they did get close and start wailing on me, particularly the melee based Monsters like even spiders or zombies, they could potentially kill me pretty quickly with the current hardcore difficulty settings. Okay, that looks like an exit right there. Most of these dungeons have um, two or three entrances to them at least. But yeah, it's really weird. You might remember that um, dungeon we did early on that had the um, that had the explosive traps in it. Uh, that was really unusual. I've done probably fifteen or so doom-like dungeons so far. Oh no, that laugh! Let's just check this chest. Oh, this is the treasure chest. What we got in here? Oh, that laugh, that laugh is definitely a Gorgon, guys. That's a Gorgon. Um, what do I want here? Let's chuck the junk out, take that. Uh, that, that's a Gorgon spawner somewhere nearby. I'm gonna have to be really careful. <laughs> I've only found one Gorgon spawner early on, the same place that had the explosive, uh... Oh yeah, she's been turning everything to stone. She's... Oh, interesting. She's even been turning her fellow Gorgons to stone. Oh, there she's! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, make sure I look at, make sure I look at the ground. Make sure I look at the ground. Uh, what do we got here? I need to find the spawner and disable it. She's. It looks like she's been turning literally everything to stone around here. We should probably take a couple of these gorgon statues. They're pretty cool. It's kind of um. It's kind of ironic that uh, the Gorgons got turned to stone by another Gorgon. That's that's uh, that's poetic justice right there. Let's, try, let's actually collect a couple of these Gorgon statues. Hopefully they don't. Um, hopefully, oh, the zombie picked it up. Uh, where are you? Give me that. Give me that statue. Hopefully the uh, the stone Gorgons don't have the ability. To turn things into stone, because I know that, uh, like, with, um... Let's make sure we don't... Ooh, nice. We've got to be careful here. Yeah, with some of the infernal mobs, when they get turned to stone, they can still affect you with the, uh... With some of their abilities, so hopefully the Gorgons don't have that same ability. Because it's almost like the game thinks they're not... Oh, that was... That was actually the, uh, that was actually an infernal spider there. Like, an actual infernal infernal, if that makes sense. The, there's three, three difficulty levels with the infernals, and he was the top tier one. I think it goes rare, ultra, and then infernal. That might be the, uh, spawner right there, actually. I think that was the gorgon spawner. I don't know if there's any more gorgons still alive that spawned out of it, though, so... I already checked that one. Um, gonna have to be a little bit careful here in terms of uh, <clears throat> checking the corners. Try to keep 
Try to keep, uh, what's that through there? Is that a creeper? <laughs> that, that stone endermen looks really weird. Stone, uh, trumpet skeleton. <laughs> okay, I think we might be near another gorgon here. It's kind of easy to track them because you just follow the trail of statues they leave behind. Oh, is that her there? Uh... Protection. She might be in this. Yeah, there she's there. Oh, okay. We gotta we gotta make sure we're looking down. Try not to look directly at the gorgon. Did I get her? Oh, there she is. <gasps> oh, this is so risky. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we did it. I got a head as well. So now we've got a couple of those gorgon heads. Oh, that was so sketch. You might wonder why I don't just use the blindfold, but if I use the blindfold, everything is pitch black, because I don't have any torches or anything. Um, and I don't fancy fighting things in the pitch black. At hardcore difficulty levels. Hopefully she was the last Gorgon, because I'm pretty sure we found and destroyed the Gorgon spawner. At least I think we did. There's a lot of stone creatures around here. Damn, those Gorgons are so powerful. Fortunately, they're... Oh, hello. <laughs> Fortunately, it's pretty rare to find a spawner. A Gorgon spawner. Like, this is only the second one I've ever seen. Anyway, I think we've pretty much explored this entire dungeon here. So let's make our way out of here and... um. Uh, I guess we'll have to start searching for uh, some more Doom-like dungeons that I haven't already marked on the map. Because we still haven't found the Ring of the Fairies. But yeah, someone was telling me in the comment section as well to watch out for void traps in these Doom-like dungeons. Let's just kill this guy. <laughs> so if we can uh, kill him so we can get out of here. But yeah, they said uh, to watch out for void traps, and uh, I was doing a bit of research um, on on what they what they are, and I don't think they're actual. As far as I understand it, feel free to correct me in the comments section, but I don't believe that they're intended as traps. I think they were just a bug uh, with some versions of Doom-like dungeons where there would be a void hole in the dungeon generation, and uh, you could potentially fall down the hole into the void, and trust me, that would definitely kill my character right now, no matter how many, uh, totems I have. Um, there's no, there's no getting out of a void hole, you can't, you can't even use the, uh, teleport potion or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so far I've been lucky and haven't found any of those, or come across any of those. Um, I'm not sure if they actually... Uh, generate in this version of Doom Like Dungeons, but uh, we'll see if we can find some more um, Doom Like Dungeons to explore because I'm still pretty keen to get the Ring of the Fairies. And I think we can. Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> stupid, stupid sirens every time. I really wish, uh, I really wish there was an enchant or some type of armor. That you could wear to be immune to these guys. I know you can craft the uh, the really cheap earplugs, but I'd rather wear my uh, armor helmet than an earplug um, to counter one mob in the game, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I think these Doom like dungeons. There's also some versions that can spawn underwater with um, water spawners in them. Uh, I've definitely come across some of those before, so maybe we'll keep an eye out for some of those as well. Alright, we're back guys, still grinding out the Doom-like dungeons, um, I've gone through so many of these dungeons now, it feels like I've done about, and I'm not joking, probably about 25 or so of these dungeons, so they take probably half an hour to do. That's, uh, if you can do the maths on that, that's a big time commitment as far as grinding goes in this. Obviously I'm going to cut out most of this, but uh, I've actually got another one of these sirens. 
Well, these, these guys are annoying, but um, I've actually started looking for the underwater Doom-like dungeons because I did I did find one um, just before this one, and it actually had quite a lot of chests with some really good stuff in it. Still no Ring of the Fairies, though. So, anyway, what I've been doing, because this particular armor that I'm wearing is the Dragon Scale armor, Unlike the Tide Guardian set, it doesn't give me water breathing, so I've just been using my bio ray sort of as a diving bell. And whenever I run out of oxygen, I just uh, basically mount this guy and uh, he refills my oxygen so I can keep uh, exploring underwater without going back to the surface. So it works out pretty well for me. But uh, yeah, I think there was a dungeon over here somewhere before I got tractor beamed. By the mermaid, I'm um, not the mermaids, the, uh, the sirens. Uh, I guess sirens are the evil mermaids of the ocean. I'm not sure how the law works exactly. <laughs> in some, in some sort of mermaid type shows, that mermaids and sirens are the same sort of thing, but, uh, I don't think they are exactly the same traditionally. Uh, where was that dungeon? I think it was... And yeah, there's a lot of these sea serpents. Fortunately, the area that I'm in right now is not that high of a difficulty level. <clears throat> I decided to start looking for the random Doom-like dungeons towards the center of the map. Just to make it a little bit safer, um, so to speak. But, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. I can see all of the delicious chests down there waiting to be checked. <laughs> Um, let's see what we've got down here. Got a lot there. Okay, get rid of that. A few, a few diamonds. I might as well collect a few of those because uh, they're good for making the dragon... the dragon armor. Um, keep looking through here. Some more golden apples. I've made a couple of trips back to base just to drop off some stuff and like um, put my XP into books and stuff like that. In fact, uh, probably this episode has been delayed or maybe the one before because um, I might end up breaking them into two. Oh, here it is right here. The Ring of the Fairies. And we've even got another totem in here of, of undying. Oh boy, guys, you have no idea how grateful I am <laughs> that we finally found it. And in an underwater dungeon, too. That's kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is the place to come to look for them instead of the underground ones. Um, kind of tempted to see if there's any other cool loot in here as well, actually. <laughs> We might as well keep exploring here. Oh boy, guys. I finally found the Ring of the Fairies. Can you believe that? That is crazy. Uh, that thing is so rare. Let's just eat one of these to be on the safe side. I would hate to die now. <laughs> We've got to survive to try it out. I've actually got two Rings of the Dwarves. Um, and I even found another one in this session, but uh, I didn't even bother taking it. I think the uh, Ring of the Dwarves, it does something similar in that it shrinks you down to like one eighth of your normal size, so you can fit through small gaps and stuff with it, but um, the only real benefit it gives you, I think, is it does give you XP from mining, so if you needed a, you know, good way to get a ton of XP, with zero, almost zero risk. Um, you could use the Ring of the Dwarves to just mine stone and get, and get XP, but I think they nerfed that a fair bit. Um, I personally only tried it out as a novelty once. I don't find it particularly useful. Because obviously when you shrink, you do lose a lot of your health. I, th I think it halves your health, actually. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Let's, um, let's go try out this Ring of the Fairies. Um, if we can get back to land. 
Hopefully, uh, I think there's an island around here somewhere. Actually, you know what? Let's just check these real quick. <laughs> Get rid of these. Yeah, I don't know if I've explored in here, have I? Let's just smite. Versatility. I tell you what, the really good enchantments are really, really hard to find just through dungeons. It's very rare that you actually get them. That's why I had to resort to villager breeding to get stuff like uh, the um, supreme sharpness and whatnot. But one other thing I've been thinking of doing, guys, from uh, my experience with doing all these Doom-like dungeons in the really hard difficulty areas is I'm thinking I might need to, and I didn't think I would ever need to craft another weapon after making my awesome greatsword, but um, now that things have been changed up a fair bit with the hardcore configs, I'm thinking of seriously crafting another uh, god weapon specifically designed for the hardcore configs. So it's probably not going to be a greatsword or a saber or, or a rapier because all of those have been nerfed with these config settings. It's probably going to be something different. So I'm going to possibly look into which one, which of the new weapons, um, or not the new weapons, but the newly tweaked weapons are going to be worth using. And I'm probably going to change a couple of my enchants around too. But we'll get into that in the next episode, I think. Let's break this. We might as well finish off this dungeon just to see if there's anything else worth uh, taking with us here. Just get some more oxygen. <laughs> these are pretty big though, these places. The underwater ones, the layout is a little bit more straightforward than the underground ones. They're a bit more on the boxy side. But yeah, maybe we've actually finished that one. So let's let's go find some land and we'll try out the Ring of the Fairies. Uh, if I can avoid getting um, getting attracted to the sirens. Yeah, here we go. This will do over here. So one of the dangers with using the Ring of the Fairies is going to be how much it reduces my health by... Uh oh! <laughs> there's, a, there's a massive sea serpent somewhere over here, right behind me. Uh, please don't one-shot me. Imagine, imagine that, I find the Ring of the Fairies and then I get one-shot by a sea serpent. That would kind of suck. I don't know where it went. I know, see, oh, there it is. It's coming for me. It's coming for me. Oh, boy. Okay, I think it might be stuck a little bit. It's trying to slither across the beach. <laughs> it's like one of those, uh, it's like one of those white pointers that, that throw themselves up the beach to try and catch seals. But yeah, sea serpents can get distracted by, like, squid and stuff like that. That's why they don't always... Just zeroing on players all the time. Oh well. Got a few scales out of it. Anyway. So this is what our hearts look like right now. And if we put on the Ring of the Fairies. Let's swap it out for our... Probably our Resistance Ring might be the better one. Because resist um, the regen is actually really, really good. So yeah, we might actually swap it out for the resistance but yeah check it out guys <laughs> i'm tiny and i've got little fairy wings on my character now <laughs> wow i'm like i'm not even as tall as a blade of grass that's crazy it makes this island look like a massive continent almost i'm a midget i'm smaller than a midget but yeah, okay, you have to double jump to get into the flight mode. That's interesting. Wow. And I've only got about five hearts per 
body part. So it's almost like going back to start of the, start of the game. Although I think at the start of the game we only had three hearts, didn't we, per body part? So it's, it's not quite that bad. <laughs> I feel really tiny. Oh, boy. You know what would be funny? Let's call in Garagrag here. <laughs> tier 3 dragon. The largest tier 3 dragon size there is. And look how small I am. <laughs> I'm like smaller than one of his little spiky bits on his back. <laughs> Imagine how small I would look on a tier 5 dragon. <laughs> In a uh, fairy, in fairy form. Wow, that is pretty cool, though. <laughs> so I can still fly it and everything. Interesting. Well, you know what? We might um, we might actually head over to the nearest village and um, use their way shrine, and uh, we're gonna head back to base. Because uh, our search for the Ring of the Fairies is finally over. And thank goodness, guys. There's been a lot of really long grinds for me so far in this playthrough of Hardcore RLCraft. Probably the longest one was the uh, villager. The villager breeding to get the Supreme Sharpness Enchant grind. That is probably the biggest grind in the whole mod pack. But this one was pretty bad. I mean, I know it's kind of RNG. But, uh, yeah. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> All right, let's head back. Let's head back to our base. And then we'll talk about what we're going to be doing in the next episode um, as well. So I'll catch you guys when we get back. All right, we're back at base. Nice. So yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty successful, if dangerous, uh, <laughs> adventure that we went on there. Um, and I think we got uh, most of uh, the items that I was after. I, I even found enough of these uh, enchanted um, pieces of clothing to get uh, the warming enchant. So I'm going to disenchant these, and I'm going to put the warming enchant on, um, on my armor here. Um, I probably... I might even have enough to do a couple of other sets of armor, um, but we'll see how we go because I did get quite a lot of loot um, as I was farming all of the Doom-like dungeons. So the reason that this is good is uh, the one temperature I have to worry about is the cold in the snow and ice biomes, and uh, that still can give me hypoth uh, hypothermia. So if I add the warming enchant, I'm hoping that that is going to then make me pretty much good. Um, for the cold biome, so I don't have to worry about the hot biomes because the dragon's eye actually um, makes you immune to hypothermia, which is the heat heat stroke type effect. Yeah. Anyway, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, actually going to the Nether. I'm going to be looking for uh, a specific type of mount there, which I really want to tame and uh, soul bind as well. But uh, the other reason I'm going there is to try and get some more fire lilies to make some more breeding um, food for my dragons. And we're hopefully going to be able to breed the dragons again in the next episode to get the... Um, I don't think we need this at the moment. But I, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going we're gonna to be dying um, around our base here <laughs> at the moment. But yeah... Uh, Basically, I do want to uh, breed up the dragons and get some ice dragon eggs and um, a few different colored dragons, which uh, which we're going to be doing towards the end of the next episode. That So that should be pretty cool. Um, but one thing that I'm probably going to do between episodes here is I do want to um, actually make a nether portal here at uh, this base. I know I have one already over at the seaport base, but the problem with that one is... Not only do I have to go over there to use it, but um, when you come out of the portal, it um, doesn't send you back through the same portal. You actually come out underneath the ocean in a cave portal, which is kind of annoying. So I'm hoping when I build this one, it's going to work a little bit better. And I've actually got a bunch of uh, bone blocks here. So I'm actually going to try to create like a... Um, uh, have I got any 
obsidian here. Um, I'm hoping to create like uh, a skull, a skull looking one. Um, I'm not sure if this bone is going to look okay or if I'm going to have to use like quartz or something like that because I don't think I can make certain blocks with the bone like stairs. Unfortunately, you can't make stairs with the bone, but we'll see how we go as, as far as the aesthetics uh, on this, but where I was thinking of building it and I might just start start it now and finish it between episodes um, But um, where I'm thinking of putting it is I'm thinking of maybe having a bit more of an extended platform back here Or maybe I'll extend the platform out out a little bit this way Something like that, but um, I don't know if this is exactly even here. Let's have a look two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three. I think this is about the center right here. Theoretically, this should be the center where that where that torch is. Oh crap! An army of Creepers. Anyway, oh god, <laughs> I'm getting attacked by everything here. <laughs> uh, can I get back up here? Uh, that's only two blocks. I should be able to. What is going on? I'm bonking my head on the tree. Anyway, yeah, probably uh, right here. This is where I'm going to build it. So I'm going to have something like uh, it's it's going to be like a skull shape, like the uh, portal, the Nether portal that I found in an underwater. Um, like, um, uh, kind of dungeon that I really liked. So, it's going to be sort of like shaped a little bit like this. This is going to be the, the base, basic lower half of what will be the skull. Do I see a warg somewhere down there? Let's get rid of him. Yeah, it's going to be sort of like this. And then, um, we're going to come out one here. And let's see, go up like three, like that. One, two, three. Get rid of that. Um, then we're it's just going to be basically the start of it. it's just like a circle kind of thing. Um, three there, and this is where the ring of the fairies actually might be. Pretty useful for building something something like this because uh, once we shrunk down we can just like fly around like this which is pretty awesome uh, Then we need to go up one and then across three Like that Get rid of those. Oh, whoops I think that was like that right? I can't crouch while I'm, fly while I'm flying, unfortunately, so let's do that. And then we want um, that there, and we want three like that. Oh no, I just need to get rid of that block right there. Go away, zombie! Um, get rid of that. Cool. So yeah, that's sort of the starting shape of it. I feel really tiny now because because <laughs> I'm in uh, fairy form. Uh, and then the actual portal part of it is going to be the back of this area here like this. So it's going to be like uh, one, two, three, like seven by seven. Hopefully it's going to look good and, and like work pretty well as well. Let's grab that. Grab that bone block back there. So this is going to be the actual portal part of it right here. Uh, but I'll finish this in between episodes. So essentially this is going to turn into a skull shape. Um, and I might even try to make it um, the same on the front and the back. So it's a skull facing both ways if you know what I mean. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, anyway, guys, that is where we are going to leave this episode 
for today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this um, particular episode. It was uh, pretty action packed. A lot of fighting, a lot of uh, looting, a lot of exploring. But um, I finally got the Ring of the Fairies, which is super super rare. So I'm pretty happy about that, and it's going to make things um, it's going to make things a lot easier as far as getting out of like uh, you know caves and whatnot, and like I can just fly around at will. Um, and also not only that, but, um, I'm less than a block high right now, so I can get into spaces where I wouldn't normally fit, which is pretty awesome. You know, I could, uh, I could, I'll give you an example here. So normally to get into like the, um, the villager breeder over here, if we come down here. Normally, obviously, a, a full-size person would have to open both of these to get in, right? But for me, I can just go straight through. Just go straight through like this in my uh, little fairy form. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Say hi to the villagers. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that is where we will leave it for this episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Sloopy Jim out.